Hello everyone, it's Aaron from Push Square and this is your episode 5 review of HBO's The Last of Us. You'll know by now, these are spoiler reviews. If you're not looking for that, you can read my written review over on the Push Square website, which I'll leave a link for down in the description. So, this episode which sees Joel and Ellie making an uneasy alliance with Henry and Sam as they try to escape Kansas City. It's one full of tension, it was certainly up in the stakes from the last episode which was a bit of a like slower we're laying the groundwork for characters there was a lot of that last episode this episode's a lot more action-packed and I think people are really going to like it I already have like a very complicated relationship with this episode at the time of recording it's been like eight hours since I've watched that I like to give myself a little bit of time to think I enjoyed it when I was watching that I was on the edge of my seat I was thoroughly invested it's when I take that step back and I start comparing to the game that's when I have my issues with it because for one I think they massively dropped the ball with the setting of Kansas City over the setting of Pittsburgh in the game. Pittsburgh in the game is one of my favourite parts of that entire campaign. It's, you you know, you're making your way through this overgrown maze, this, this you know, industrial cityscape that's just completely taken over and wrecked where like the inside of a building is spilling out to the outside and vice versa and you also have this like ominous threat with the the hunters there's a lot of lore there it's interesting it makes the setting feel alive and you have this association with like the rumble of the humvee that's hunting you down that like gives you the fear you're sitting there quietly with anticipation it's great it's like one of my favorite like levels or sections of a game ever i could play it over and over again but here we have a city that is devoid of character almost when we talk about the look of it. It doesn't have that apocalyptic look. It's too clean, it's too open and there's narrative reasons for that in the in the episode in terms of the, the infected got rooted underground and now they've taken over and you know I'm not saying it doesn't make sense I'm just I think that was better when you talk about a post-apocalyptic show the the aesthetic of the game was far better than than the TV show and I know that's a very easy thing to do because it's you know it's a game you can make it anything they would have to actually make the stuff I get that but it still just didn't have the same impact so then talking about the characters the deviations we've got Melanie Linsky as Kathleen and Jeffrey Pierce is Perry or Percy I keep forgetting his name I'm gonna go with Perry I thought these two were great I really liked the chemistry I really liked the the sort of contrast between somebody that seems so nice but they were also a bit of a maniac and a really evil person i love that aspect the story though that was there with like henry ratted out her brother who was the leader of the revolution and now she wants revenge that just kind of fell flat for me a little but it's only really in hindsight because when i was watching it i was i was enjoying it and i was invested and every time kathleen was on screen i was like okay what's she gonna do let's see how evil she really is. That aspect kind of disappointed me. What I did like in terms of the group trying to escape was this idea that the infected were sort of lurking. There's a danger there because they haven't really been present at all since episode two. So it's nice to have that reminder of like, yeah, no, there's all this stuff with humans and blah, 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 but here's the real danger of this world. And I knew it was coming as soon as the truck crashed. I was like, that's gonna, they're gonna come up. But I did not expect them to come up like floods out of this hole where there's just hundreds of them. I loved that. I thought it was really intimidating and it kind of just like, oh, these are super dangerous and really scary. Totally loved that. I loved the new designs of some of the clickers, like the wee girl, you know, doing the weird kind of acrobatics over the car chair. That was awesome. The bloater looked fantastic. It looked so good. I love the little detail when Perry finally gets his head ripped clean off is it was almost an exact replica of the death animation from the game where you get your jaw ro ripped open instead. Really appreciated that little detail. Again, it was like a good case of like them streamlining a lot of stuff because we got Ish with the underground stuff which actually comes after Pittsburgh in the game. The sniper involved there which was also after Pittsburgh in the game. So I, I do think they've done a good job to sort of streamline that whole thing. This was a little longer at an hour over the 45 from last week and I do think that's needed it, it, it feels good to have that extra time in the world. Ultimately, yeah, I, I feel like that entire section from the game into the TV show, it didn't have the same impact outside of the infected. I think 
that was the real saving grace. Without that, I would be very disappointed, I think. I do like, again, just to see Joel and Ellie becoming more of this team very slowly, but surely, like, we're getting there, we're seeing them, like, starting to trust each other, and she's like, oh, this is what he usually does. You know, they're getting to know each other. I love that about this episode. This show so far, it's just how gradually they've been taking it. I do feel like now, though, we're at the, the you know, the verge of the meat of this story. And it's kind of been what I've been waiting for. I, I've been enjoying it, but this is what I'm waiting to get into. When we start to get into fall, we get into winter. So yeah, this episode is a lot of mixed emotions, a lot of good, but a lot of disappointing in comparison to the game, I think. So let me know what you thought of it. Uh, obviously, some of you might not have played the game at all. So did you enjoy it from that perspective? Did you have any disappointment in any terms of this? leader, this uprising, the city, the, the two characters. Let me know down in the comments. Oh, oh, and just very quickly, I do want to say it was missing that moment between Henry and Joel when they're talking about the um, Harley Davidson bike. I liked that and I feel like that was partly down to the fact that they made Henry a little bit too young. So there wasn't really that connection there. Just something that came to my mind there. But yeah, let me know what you thought of the episode down below. Remember to leave a like. I do love talking about these episodes every week. Of course, I'm a huge The Last of Us fan. And if you would like to stay up to date with these reviews and anything else within the world of PlayStation, why not subscribe to us here on Push Square. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.